Authorities blaming the driver of a FedEx truck for this deadly Northern California crash that happened last year. But their announcement today leaves many questions still unanswered, even after a 13 month investigation. The crash happened on April 10th last year on I 5 in the Northern California town of Orland. The FedEx driver crashed into a bus loaded with high school students. Both of the drivers died, so did five students and three chaperones. CHP officials say the FedEx driver violated road rules by moving across the median into opposing traffic. But the question still remains why? KCRA 3 Sharakina Shams has been tracking the latest development. She joins us now with what the CHP had to say today. Kelly, the CHP has learned a lot about this crash over the last 13 months. But nothing that definitively answers the question why did the driver of that FedEx truck drive across a median and into oncoming traffic on I 5 that day? In addition to the 10 people killed, there were 39 others hurt. This bus was full of Southern California high school students heading to Humboldt State University for a tour. At a news conference near Los Angeles today, the CHP confirmed how the accident happened. The FedEx driver made what they call an unsafe turning movement, crossing the median into northbound lanes, first hitting a Nissan Altima, then crashing into the bus. And they say the FedEx driver didn't try to stop or change what he was doing. He had no evasive maneuvers during the collision. So no braking, no indication of steering to turn the truck out of its direct path. But why? That's what CHP officials say they still don't know. We, uh, we were unable to determine if he had a, any kind of medical condition uh, due to the post-collision condition of the body. But they say the driver had no diagnosed medical condition that would cause him to drive this way. So was he tired? Did he fall asleep? One witness reported seeing him slumped toward the driver's side window. Investigators say fatigue is possible, but they couldn't prove it. He had had sufficient time off. He was an on-call driver. Uh, that day he had only worked, he had been working for approximately eight hours at the time of the collision. But he had had between eight and ten hours of sleep the night before. That truck driver was 32 year old Tim Evans of Elk Grove. Now, the National Transportation Safety Board has been doing a separate investigation. They'll have their results out this summer, but they have already announced that Evans had no drugs and no alcohol in his system. Goldstein, mm -hmm. Kelly? There are so many factors that play into these kinds of things. So, any issues with maybe the roadway or any mechanical problems with that FedEx truck? The CHP says they didn't find any uh, roadway problems. As for the truck, they couldn't get any information from the engine control module because it was destroyed in the fire. After the crash, they also noted today that the drivers involved in this crash were not using cell phones at the time. Oh, it's just hard to say, you know, at this point, will we ever really know? Right. Yeah. Thank you, Cheryl.